Hi, my name is Christophe Galfard. I hold a PhD in theoretical physics from Cambridge University, where I had the privilege and immense honor of being a Professor Stephen Hawking's graduate student. I worked with him on black holes and the origins of the universe for about six years in, at the beginning of uh, 2000. And uh, now I'm trying to explain all that science to everyone. I decided to, to, to write The Universe in Your Hand, a popular science book, because I believe that scientific knowledge belongs to everyone. It's not a matter of uh, liking science, of, uh, I don't know, being good at science. It's a matter of being curious and wanting to live in our times, because scientific knowledge corresponds to, the, to our times. We didn't see the world as we do now even 20 years ago or 100 years ago. No, we have our vision today. In this book, I'm trying to give the vision of the universe as the scientists have it today. Yeah, it was quite hard to write because I didn't want to use any technical term whatsoever. But uh, on the other hand, it kind of corresponds to how I see science and, and research, like something very, very visual that you can see in your mind uh, a voyage, really. So I tried to translate the science into a voyage. The book starts with the discovery of the cosmos. You start in space and you fly straight ahead from here on Earth to the end of the visible universe. And you see whatever you can see inside. Black holes, galaxies, stars, everything. That's the beginning. That's where we are. That's what we know of the universe. Then you try to make sense of that. That's observational, that's observations, and then there's theory. There is something that tries to make sense of that. That's Einstein's theory. So after having seen the cosmos, you try to make sense of it. And then you suddenly realize that to understand anything about what's going on around us, you need to understand the matter. The matter we are made of, the light that shines around us, that's the quantum world, the quantum physics. You need to get into that. Once you know all, everything about the theories that are used today by scientists, you go into the mysteries, because all these theories, they work perfectly, they are fine, but they've shown that there are many mysteries in our universe. Dark matter, dark energy, something that could have happened before the Big Bang, stuff like that, that's the mysteries. And then, once you've done all that, you're ready for the last step, for the last journey, which is to do a step beyond what is known and to step into the unknown, parallel universes, extra dimensional universes, string theories, all these wonders that the scientists today work on. I've written this book so that no prior scientific knowledge is needed whatsoever. The only thing you need to take on that journey is your imagination.